Hello everyone, my name is Jason Gregerson and welcome to the next video in your Calculus 2 video set. Today we're going to be talking about section 9.1, an introduction to differential equations. Now in this section we really have four main learning goals. One, we want to define specifically what are differential equations. And then we're going to take a, take a look at what it means to be a solution to a differential equation. Next, we'll talk about the properties and characteristics we can learn about our solutions, not by actually finding the solutions, but just based on the differential equation. And lastly, we'll look at some applications where we model certain physical situations with differential equations. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what is a differential equation? In general, a differential equation is an equation that contains an unknown function and one or more of its derivatives. So if we look at a specific example, I could have something that looks like the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2y plus x. And so in this case, I have an unknown function, that is y, and y is really some function of x. I know that because I'm taking the derivative of y with respect to x in my equation. Now I don't really know what the function is in this case, so that's why I call y the unknown function. Now I also have x in my differential equation, and that's going to be the independent variable. Independent variable. And y is my unknown function, but sometimes we also call y the dependent variable. Okay, so now we've defined what a differential equation is and some of the important terms are related to it. The next thing we'll talk about is the order of the differential equation. The order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative. So in this case, I only have one derivative, and it's a first derivative. Therefore, this differential equation is a first order differential equation. Okay, next let's talk about what a solution actually is to this differential equation. Well, we said that we had this unknown function here. That's y. y is equal to f of x. And the idea is if we could find the right function f of x, a function that satisfies the differential equation, in other words, it makes the differential equation a true statement if we plug it in, that's a solution to the differential equation. So, for example, I could say, what if I looked at the function that was, how about e to the 2x? I'll say, what if y was equal to this specific function? Well, I would have to see now if this function satisfies my differential equation. Well, I would have to calculate the derivative of this function with respect to x. Well, the derivative of e to the 2x is 2e to the 2x. And I would have all the information to go ahead and plug it into my differential equation. So I would start with the left-hand side of the equation, dy dx, and I have 2e to the 2x there. Now when I move on to the right-hand side of the equation, where I have 2 times my unknown function. Once again, my unknown function is e to the 2x. And lastly, I have my plus x piece here. And the question is, is this really a true statement? I subtract this value from the right-hand side, I get 0 is equal to x. And the question is, is this always true? This is not always true. Thus, y equals e to the 2x is not a solution to this differential equation. All right, let's take a look at another problem. Let's take a look at this problem. I would encourage you at this time to pause the video and see if you can work through this problem on your own. So I will give you some time right now to pause the video. And now let's take a look at our solution. The first part says state the order of the differential equation. So I'm looking at the derivatives. I have a first derivative here, a second derivative here. So this is the second order differential equation. Next, we need to determine if y equals e to the 3x minus 4 thirds is a solution. Well, to do that, we'll have to take the first derivative and take the second derivative and then plug them into our differential equation to see if we get a true statement. So in this case, y prime would be 3e to the 3x. y double prime would be 9e to the 3x. And now we're going to plug these values into our differential equation. So my differential equation, again, is y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y equals 4. Let's plug in our values here. We have 9e to the 3x minus 2 times 3e to the 3x minus 3 times e to the 3x minus 4 thirds. And the question is, is this equal to 4? So is this equation here a true statement? All right, well, let's see what I got here. Well, I have e to the 3x in three of these terms, so I'm going to factor that guy out. 
it looks like my first term has a 9, my next one of a minus 6, my next one of a minus 3 over here, and then I'll also distribute the negative 3 over here to get positive 4. And the question is, is this equal to 4? That's a question we have here. And so if we simplify this piece, this piece looks like it's 0. So I have 0 plus 4 equals 4. Yes, that is a true statement. Thus, y equals e to the 3x minus 4 thirds is a solution to this differential equation. All right. All right, so far we've talked about what are differential equations and what are solutions to differential equations. In the next video, we'll take a look at the properties or characteristics so we can learn about solutions just based on the differential equations. All right, that concludes this video. Thanks for your time.